everyone and welcome back to Storytime. Today, I'm really excited because this is a new book, I'm going to read you Once Upon a Unicorn Horn by Beatrice Blue. Once upon a magic forest, there was a little girl called June. June knew the woods were full of treasures waiting to be discovered. She loved to climb through the tallest trees to find castles and peer through the bushes to find magic wands. Then one day, June found the greatest treasure of all. Tiny magic horses learning to fly. June couldn't believe it. They shook their soft fur fluttered their sparkly tails and whizzed into the air. But there was one little horse that wasn't flying. He looked very sad. Are you okay, little horsey? June asked. Can't you fly? He shook his head. I can help you, said June. We just had to make your fur shake and your tail flutter. So they tried rolling and jumping and running really fast, but nothing happened. I guess we'll have to use magic, said June. She rummaged through her box of treasures until she found her most powerful magic wand. June swooshed a big swoosh and wished a big wish. But it still didn't work. The little horse was sadder than ever, and so was June. As soon as she got home, Mum and Dad could tell something was wrong. Not even her favourite dinner could make her smile. June told them all about the tiny horse. I tried to help, but my magic wand didn't work, she said. I think it's broken. Don't worry, Mum and Dad said. We can fix it together. How do we fix my wand? said June. Let's start by trying to cheer up your friend, said Mum. Tomorrow we'll think of all the things that a little horse might like, said Dad. The next morning everyone thought hard. Something sweet, said June. Something happy, said Dad. What about something to share, said Mum. I know, said June. Let's give him an ice cream. I like ice cream. Just before she left, Mum and Dad whis whispered a magic... Sorry. Just before she left, Mum and Dad whispered a magic formula to make sure the ice cream tasted super sweet. June couldn't wait to cheer up her friend. She ran as fast as she could, but it was a little too fast. She tripped, then the ice cream slipped out of her hand and... Smush! It was a disaster. Oh no! But then June saw that the little horse liked the, his new home very much. Look, the ice cream cone landed on the horse's head. After all, it was perfectly delicious. He smiled, then he laughed. Then he shook his soft fur and fluttered his sparkly tail. And it worked. It was the happiest day ever. Ever since magic horses have been called unicorns, for they all wear horns to remember the day when a little girl was a good friend. June often wears hers too, and she never forgets the magical formula. My magic is deep inside, don't need a wand to fly. Ah, oh, that was a really magical book. I hope you enjoyed it. See you tomorrow.